Hi, it's Christy, and I'm here with a shoebox for a boy 10 to 14. I hope this gives you ideas. I loved packing it. I have my checkoff sheet here that I printed off from blessingsinashoebox.com. That's an awesome resources for all kinds of printables. I urge you to check it out, blessingsinashoebox.com. And there are other things inside that I printed out. It's so nice to be able to include these printables. I have my shoebox closed with my 107 rubber band and it's very full. We don't want to send air. And here the lid's gonna pop up a little bit. I could hear a And you'll get to see what's inside. Oh, well at the top, there is this disclaimer for the processing center. I have been printing those out to include on the top of my shoe boxes so that the volunteers at the processing center can read it and realize that this person probably, I can see she has a really full box and this is probably true. She's being honest about no medications and no breakables, that kind of thing. So that's what the disclaimer says. So I'm trying to include those in my boxes in every shoe box this year to make it easier on the volunteers at the processing center. Then when they take that out, they can kind of thumb through it easier than taking everything out and trying to put it back again. So here is in the back, how to inflate a soccer ball. So you can probably already see that there's a soccer ball in here, but I want to include the directions whenever I send a soccer ball so the child will know how to inflate it properly because it needs to rest overnight and um, that protects the bladder. So I'll t I guess I'll go ahead and take that out. And on top here, this is what it looks like, nice and full. We don't like to send air. Here is what do you think is in here? These are UV protection sunglasses that I'm excited to send for this boy. And, oh, there's so much. Where do I begin? I think I'm gonna start by pulling out the soccer ball and showing you the cute little beanie baby inside. When you are rolling up your soccer balls that are deflated, you're gonna to want to First of all, I love using the 107 rubber bands to um, squish it down, but we don't want to over squish it. So to protect the bladder, put something in your ball so it doesn't get um, over squished and break the bladder. And the things that I chose, you can put a t-shirt in there. I chose this particular one to have a beanie baby because I found him and he has a soccer um, emblem on and he just fits right great in a ball. And then I also included these nice Old Navy underwear boys. Um, I guess they're like the shorts style. So this is a nice Franklin ball, size five. I think if I do it over again, I would get more size four instead of the size five, but I think the size five were on sale, so I bought those. They take up a lot of room, but you can still fit a lot of things in along with a size five soccer ball. So I'll show you what else is in here. He has a water bottle. I love including water bottles. They really look like they take up a lot of space, but when you fill the inside, it's amazing. It's almost like um, the water bottle part disappears because the stuff that you take out and put in the water bottle just really kind of equals out. So inside, I'll show you what I have here. Um, he has a carabiner, a green carabiner that's stretchy that hopefully he can find useful. I have this bookmark that says uh, Jesus on the side. It's a shiny uh, bookmark metal that says for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, John 3, 16. And then, I have a toy dinosaur, a matchbox car, a little convertible. I have this wonderful prayer pocket. I don't know if you've seen these. Michelle has made these for me to send, and I'm just gonna read it to you real quick. It has the a cross on the front and then a little pocket in the back with this prayer. It says, uh, this prayer pocket was especially made especially for you to keep in your pocket. Carry it with you as a reminder that you are always surrounded by God's love, 
I love you and I'm praying for you. So special. So thank you, Michelle, for making those. So these little things, really so many things fit in here. Let me keep going. He's got his green comb, a big blue eraser. I emptied out his pencil pouch, so everything is, you know, most of the things are in here. This is his bird pencil sharpener, another little dinosaur. He has a little hygiene kit with the nail clippers and nail files and the directions on how to use the nail files. You can print out the directions on blessingsinashoebox.com on the printables page. I have a little bouncy ball here that's yellow for him, a pencil top eraser. I have some pencils that are starting to come out here. I already pre-sharpened his pencils so that he wouldn't have to start from scratch on a little pencil sharpener that makes it easy for them. Uh, I have this carabiner measuring tape that's 10 feet long and it can fit on his backpack and it goes out like this and you can lock it. It's really quite nice. It's only a little bit, I think an, over a dollar, a little over a dollar at um, Harbor Freight. And then I have, a, oh, I have two combs accidentally. I think I'll keep the green one and put the purple one aside. I have a pencil top eraser and a Sharpie. I love to include those with my um, soccer balls, especially so they can put their name on them because a lot of the soccer balls will look the same that they get probably at the event. And here is another pencil sharpener, a covered uh, um, toothbrush, another sharpened pencil, a black pen. This is a cool graphite pencil. My friend Roxanne sent these to me and they are supposed to last for extra long time. So those are fun to include this time. Oh, I have his referee's whistle. I have another pencil top eraser, a multi-pen, a pencil top eraser, and a sharpener is still here. Something fell in here. Well, this is his mending kit. It has a button and a thread, some thread, it's two buttons and a um, safety pin and needles too. And last thing is this blue pen. Is it blue? Yeah, blue um, pen. So all of that will go back in the water bottle. I'm gonna push that aside so I know exactly what goes in there. And I get those water bottles I found at Walmart in the sports section. I think they're three dollars. Um, and they kind of bend a little bit so you can get things in fairly easy, easily. I like packing them uh, in those water bottles. All right, so here is some playing cards. So a deck of cards for him. And this is very special. This, do you know what this is? A fishing kit. It has a Velcro closure and Michelle made this for me. I just appreciate it so much. There's a little scissors in here to cut the line. There is a full spool of fishing line. There's so many reasons you need um, to have a lot of fishing line. You know if you're a fisherman, how easy it is to get your line tangled up and you might need to cut it off. So having this is 45 yards of 10 pound test. So it's a really um, useful for a boy. They can connect uh, a stick with the line and get it all set up. Here are the hooks in a little clear container. And then this is all the other things they need, the weights and the little connecting pieces and the lures are all in here. So that is important to send, I think, to our older boys. I love the idea that Michelle put together these kits for me. And this is a visual that you can also print out if you're sending uh, fishing kits, you can print off this from blessingsinissuebox.com of how to tie the string on your hook and how to put the bobber on. Okay, so that was a lot of information just on this little fishing kit. It's very, I feel it like it's a big blessing for these children to maybe be able to help feed their family. I love that idea. So, sending that and it fits 
really nicely inside these little holes that are left there once you have after you have your big things in. Uh, he has this pullback dinosaur toy. Franklin Graham says, send more toys. So I wonder if I ever counted how many toys we would have. The ball is a stuffed animal up toy, I think so. And the cars, there are quite a few toys in here and I'm happy about that. Here's another toy. It's a bag of marbles. I got a lot of sets at Hobby Lobby. This is not, these are nice and colorful. Has the shooter in here. I think it's 24 marbles all together, maybe 25 with the shooter. I can't remember. I looked up how many I should send and divided them into these nice sturdy bags so they should last for a while. And it just fits great in a shoebox. I have this fidget spinner, which is another toy. And I have this small backpack to help him get his things home. And a pair of blue socks that are the size for him. And what is this? This is, oh, this is a big roll of twine. And let me show you what I'm gonna, well, inside I was able, I don't wanna waste any space, so I put this bracelet and it says, God is Emmanuel, Psalm 145, one. So he'll have this bracelet and then there's something else in here that I wanna try to get out. These are the directions for making knots um, out of the twine. So there's lots of reasons why a boy can use string like this. It's nice and thick. Um, and then here are how to tie a knot printable that you can print out from blessingsinashoebox.com. And it shows different ways you can use it. I just think this it's cool. Different, it doesn't say what kind, but I think this is a type of slip knot. This one is going around wood. So um, that's a useful thing for a growing boy to know how to tie a knot. So I will put that back in there later. I'll keep going with his scissors and his ball pump. Of course, that's important when you're sending a soccer ball. Always send a pump with there's three extra needles in here. I have a nice calculator for him to use for school. It's a silver calculator, Casio. Casio probably is how you say it better. And he has a musical instrument. This harmonica fit in here. It's a nice silver harmonica. Hopefully he enjoys music. I love sending musical instruments to boys and girls. Here is some colored pencils, a set of 12 Medici pencils. I hope if you enjoy this video, you'll tell somebody about this um, channel because now that it's getting close to Operation Christmas Child collection time, more people are starting to purchase things for their shoe boxes. And I hope that it, you can share this video with someone you know that might be interested in packing shoe boxes too. This is his t-shirt. It's so soft and it's a Captain America t-shirt. I hope he likes this. I've heard that um, children like to get, that are overseas, like getting American um, decorated t-shirts. So hopefully he will like the shirt. It's a size 14, 16. And then I have this wonderful fidget toy Michelle made. It's a marble maze. There's one marble in here and you can see the pathways of the stitching here. And I love the corners that she made. It's, they're so cool. So inside with this fleece being so soft, it really is soothing to make the journey through the maze with your fingers pushing the marble along. So that is something I'm excited to send in all my older boy shoe boxes. And I'm almost done. I have this spoon here that's included. I have this special notebook. It's 60 lined pages. I decided to order some of these on Amazon to see if I like them and I really do. So those are, that's, it's bigger than it looks. When you see it in person, I think it'll be very useful. And then he has the God Loves You coloring book. This one, oh, this one is blank pages because I love having blank paper to 
um, draw on when I was this age. And then he also has the coloring book with the pictures. This particular one has a lot of soccer ball pictures. You can print off these coloring books on blessingsintheshoebox.com and look at the printables page. There are so many nice pages that you can print off for coloring. And then he has his 12-inch um, ruler that's in here diagonally, his pencil pouch, which is red. I just took everything out to make it more flat on the bottom. And then here is his green washcloth. And last but not least, his orange bandana. Bandanas, I love including them in every box. They're so useful from everything from a tourniquet to a napkin to a, um, something to put on your uh, neck to a face mask. There's probably a hundred uses of bandanas. So that brings us to the end of this box. I will be praying for this child as I do for all my boxes. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. If you know someone that could benefit from all these videos, we really love the fact that this is building the kingdom of God. And that's why we make these shoe boxes so that other uh, children around the world were heal were, will hear the gospel and receive Jesus as Lord. God bless you and bye for now.